What is up, YouTube? Fluttershy RLC back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. We're on the road today, and you know, it's kind of nice to be on the road sometimes, you know, get away from home, experience the opposing crowd around us. And as much as I don't like San Francisco, I do like the stadium, Levi Stadium, an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stadium. I actually kind of want to go there. Hopefully I can someday, you know, go there, watch a game. Uh, definitely a very beautiful stadium. And we're throwing it deep, and Mike Evans just teabagged his defense. Defender. Oh no, Mike Evans, you savage. And Tim Tebow unleashed Tim Tebow. Let's go into the end zone. We're going up 7 to nothing already. And uh, so that's, that's a pretty good way to start, man. That, that's a pretty good way to start. Tebow and Mike Evans definitely um, a really good combo together. And you might notice who he has in the backfield. Yeah, that's 99 Bo Jackson. I don't know which one it was because, again, I'm always afraid to get pause glitch, so I just don't pause the game like it at any cost. He also has Tom Terrific. Tom Brady, uh, and you know, as much as I don't like the Patriots, as much as I don't like Tom Tom Brady, you gotta give the dude respect. You gotta you gotta give the dude credit where credit is due. The dude is an absolutely amazing quarterback. You know, pinpoint accuracy. He's he's just a deadly deadly quarterback. So as much as I don't like Tom, I still gotta respect you, Tom. Well, kind of sorta, because you did cheat a little bit, but whatever. That's not the point. Um, the point is, is that the main, now my main focus in this game, because I wasn't too worried about anyone else but Bo Jackson. Now, you know, I know that if Bo, J if Bo Jackson isn't contained, then this game is going to get out of control quick, because he's just going to run all up and down our ass with Bo Jackson if we don't stop him. So that's definitely the name of the game, stopping Bo Jackson right there. I don't know what he was trying to trying to go for but he sells for just a field goal and I'll take that considering the weapons he has on offense I'll take just giving up a field goal so now we have a chance to go up 14 to 3 before half D'Anthony Thompson turned turn the kicks course I got the Falcons jerseys because I haven't you guys have like never seen me play with the Falcons jerseys before so I'm like you know what let's throw them on for this game just because why not so anyways, we're trying to move down the field now. I knew, I mean, he had a few 99 players, you know, cornerbacks, um, linebackers. So I knew that I kind of had to dink and dunk this game. As much as I hate being captain checked down, I had to be captain checked down for this game. I literally, when I was playing this game, I was like, I will drag route this dude to death because he ain't stopping it. Like, you know, again, drag route to Mike Evans. He ain't stopping it. No one's stopping it. You know, drag routes are one of the hardest things to stop in Madden, in my opinion. Um, especially if you got, like, two crossing routes. You know, there's a few plays where, you know, you got, like, dual tight ends on uh, each side and, and they both go on a drag route and it, it's just so hard to stop because you don't because you know you got also kind of time with the CPU who they're go, who they're gonna uh, you know who they're gonna attack to who they're gonna gonna cover so it's really tough to user drag routes and in this game, I knew that that's kind of what I had to rely on. I had to rely on drag routes. I kind of had to dink and dunk. And, uh, you know, when you're facing... Okay, here's your Madden tip from Fluttershy, who's not the best Madden player, mind you. <laughs> but here's your, little here's your little Madden tip for the day. If you're facing s someone in Mutt that has a very good uh, secondary... Just dink and dunk, just dink and dunk on him, okay? Just throw, just throw underneath routes, throw drag routes. Don't test his secondary because you're gonna have a bad time. It's a lot harder for him to, you know, user the drag routes as easy as it would be if you're like throwing a streak route or just anything like that. So if you're facing an opponent that has very, very good defensive backs, just drag route him to death. Just drag route him to death, okay? Trust me, it'll probably work maybe I I don't know it worked for me in this game um, so again we're up 13 to 3 because he decided to block my field goal like a cheeser but Bruce Carter is gonna lay out Bo Jackson like get the fuck on the ground Bo you, like get down Bo um, so now um, in the second half now he's being pretty accurate with Tom Brady mixing in runs with Bo Jackson Bo Jackson now the key so far, Bo Jackson hasn't broken any big runs. I mean, sure, he's averaging about seven yards a carry, but he hasn't broken any, like, huge runs in this game, and that's what we need. We need to contain Bo. Don't give up the big plays, okay? Don't, don't give up the big home run plays, and Bruce Carter almost had that pick, man. That pick could have been just, like, a game-ender. 
over. And on third down and nine, looking for someone to throw to, finds Vernon Davis and D'Angelo Hall not able to get there in time. So Tom Brady, 11 for 12, again being very, very efficient, handing off to Bo Jackson. Jackson's got a little bit of room, but Bo Jackson picking up about seven yards on the play. And, I mean, I'm okay with that. I mean, you know, for now, I mean, as long as we're not giving up the big home run plays to Bo, to Bo Jackson, I'll be content with content with it. So on first down and goal, we're going to actually stuff him right here. Only a gain of two second down and goal again. He's trying to go with Bo, and Bo is going to be stuffed short by J.J. Watt and Dante Fowler. Third down and goal, he's going to try to pass the ball. Trying to find someone underneath, and Star L Latour to the to Star L I don't even know how to pronounce your damn name. But he gets the sack, and now he settles for just a field goal again. 13-6. to six. He tries to come out an onside kick, and we don't grab it. He gets the onside kick, is Brandon Bostic on our team? Did Brandon did Brandon Bostic dress up in a Falcons uniform? But I knew that getting those coverage four three linebackers would pay off, and it did because Bruce Carter, ninety four zone coverage, eighty seven catch, and right here he tries to pause glitch me, and you guys know I do not like people that pause glitch. And right here, unleash Shane Vereen. Shane Vereen is going to just put an exclamation point on it. And we're going to score there. So, now we're up 20-6 to six late in the game. I don't think he has any chance to come back, really. I mean, you know, again, it's not like us. Where we, on our first drive, we moved down the field quick. But I don't think he has the ability to do that. Don't, don't you even dare. Don't you dare test my user. Don't you dare test HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix. I'm there almost every time. So, I get the big pick right there. Might kind of finish the game off. We're trying to one run with Vereen, not getting much. And right here, we overthrow our receiver, and we almost throw it directly into his defender's hand. And I'm like, gee, thanks, T-Bar. Are you trying to sabotage this win? Uh, but we just throw it to Charles there for the first down. So now almost down to the two-minute warning. We're looking to throw again. Mike Evans, the face catch. We got it, but he's hit, and he drops it, man. Mike Evans almost had it. <laughs> almost, man. But again, almost only works with horseshoes and hand grenades but we throw a pick there to jack lambert i'm pretty sure that's the ultimate legend jack link uh, i'm pretty sure that's the ultimate legend jack lambert because ever since his card came out i've been seeing a lot of jack lambert's at middle linebacker i've just been seeing a lot of them and before this i didn't really see any of them um so he gets the t touchdown there on the pick six tries to go for uh or tries to come out and honestly kick doesn't get it this time baby hogs able to get it for us again and again He's going to try to pause glitch me. Like, dude, come on. Like, this is so weak. And it, you guys know I don't like people that pause glitch. I think it's just the most loserish thing you can do. Like, I mean, you know, you're a loser if you pause glitch. As a matter of fact, if you glitch in this game in general, you're a loser. And I'm sorry, but that's the truth. And Shane Vereen again. Shane, unleash Shane Vereen. Shane Vereen. Shane Vereen's having a better day than Bo Jackson. How messed up is that? So we go up 28 to 13. What is he doing, man? He's just throwing it up deep. Earl Thomas is there. I'm getting that pick with 46 seconds to go. This game's pretty much over, and I don't know why I didn't just run the clock out. I decided, you know what, let's be stupid. And he gets the pick there with Kendrick Lewis, who, like, warps through... Uh, Mike Ditka, so he kind of has a little bit of a spark left, but with only one timeout, what can he really do as we drop the pick there with Dante Fowler? And again, man, like I was saying, making the switch to those, you know, those 3-4 uh, coverage linebackers, you know, getting the good zone coverage li linebackers, I, I, I can honestly see where that's pay paid off, because Luke Keekley wouldn't have covered, um, wouldn't have covered Vernon Davis like that, but Bruce Carter, who's got 94 zone coverage, covers him perfectly. And so we get the win there, man. And this dude tried to pause with me like three times in the game, but unable to do it. So we pull out the win. Unleash Tim Tebow. Unleash Shane Vereen, man. Just an all-around good game by my team. We didn't really give up any t turnovers, any real turnovers, really. I mean, he got those two turnovers, but they were in garbage time when the game was pretty much already a wrap. Um... So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. And, again, here's that big pick with Bruce Carter. Look at that. On that route the whole way, jumping right in front of it. If you if you don't already, go get yourself a Bruce Carter. He's an absolute freaking beast. I love him, and I love you guys. And, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. I will see you guys on the next one. I love you all for all your support. Peace out. Have a great day.